Target, as I so affectionately love to call them. They have lots of great stuff and lots of fabulous clothes and little accessories. But many of the stores also have huge grocery stores right inside them. And they hooked us up today with all sorts of equipment and the food. So huge, big shout out to Target. All right. Now, while this chicken is browning up on side two, we're going to do a couple of Q&As. Uh, we're going to go first to Clara in Nashville on Skype. Clara, we got a couple of minutes here while the chicken is cooking up. Do you have a question for us? Rachel, sometimes when I cook with chicken, it sticks to the pan. Do you have any advice for me? Uh, if, if the chicken is sticking to the pan, it's because the pan is not hot enough or you haven't allowed it to brown. So don't force the chicken. Let it get really brown. And as it starts to naturally pull away, that's when it's ready to turn. Don't pull at it too much. Don't force it. And make sure the pan's very hot before you add the chicken to it. And I always pat any meat or protein that I'm working, I always pat it dry. Nice dry meat before it goes into the hot oil that you're cooking with, okay? All right, let's do... Okay, great. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Let's. Wes, do you have a question for us from out in L.A.? I got a wonderful question here from Corey. Fire away, Corey. Hi, Corey. Hi, Rachel. I was just wondering, I saw some shallots here on the tray, and I was wondering why we're using those and what the benefit is instead of using regular onions. Uh, you can certainly switch it up. I was trying to think about uh, a size that was appropriate to the dish. And sometimes for people, it'll give too much of a strong onion flavor if we used a big onion in relationship to the rest of the ingredients. We have two carrots we're going to put into our honey mustard chicken, one parsnip, um, and a large shallot. I was just trying to make sure there were no leftover bits and pieces. Uh, you might end up with too much onion and not enough of the other veg. So it was really just a, um, a preference of size in that case. But you could certainly substitute that. You could use a, a mild cooking onion instead of the shallot, no problem. Uh, how about here in studio? Anybody has a question here in New York? Hey. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Um, I've never really cooked with parsnips before. Can you use a different root vegetable? Sure, you could peel up and use pretty much any root vegetable out there, celery root or turnips. I like the parsnip because they're very easy to peel up and deal with. And if you've never cooked with them before, um, a friend of mine describes them really nicely as a uh, carrot with an attitude. They're a little bit uh, spicy, and they balance out the sweetness of the carrots. Um, and so it's just a nice, easy root vegetable, but certainly. The whole point of this is just really a method. We're browning chicken, taking chicken out of the pan, and then we're cooking up a little bit of vegetable, and then we're going to make a, a, a sauce right in the same pan that you cook the veg with. So it's sort of a, a simple one-pot supper, but it's really more about the method than the actual recipe. My chicken's getting some great color on it. Once it's browned all over, guys, you could pull it out of your pan and transfer it to a plate. And then down into the same pot, in the chicken drippings, you're going to add a few tablespoons of butter and your chopped up carrots, parsnips, and shallots. So drop the butter down in. Once the butter melts up, add your veg to the pan. That's your parsnip and carrots. And add your shallots. Then you gotta season it up with salt and pepper. Stir to combine. And then we're gonna trap the heat in the pan and let the vegetables wilt down and start to give off their juices. Put a lid on it and let them cook out for a couple of minutes. We're gonna take a quick break. More of this meal when we come back.